Hello, this is J. Roger Wanky, and welcome to Insight, the program that talks with interesting people. My guest today is a man who holds several PhDs in psychology and family counseling, as well as several trophies and titles in goat roping. He's also known as the man who won't shut up. Please welcome, while I go return some gifts to some shops downtown, to Professor Thaddeus Cornpone the third. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm happy as a hog and slop that the holidays are behind us like bad road and we're dangling our toes in the waters of the new year. Of course, time spent with family is uh, reassuring that uh, all, not all the nuts are in the nut house. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, nobody minds a glass or two of uh, brandy and egg dog, but uh, Uncle Earl's rampant alcoholism tends to uh, put the shun in dysfunctional family. And, uh, well, uh, <coughs> it's easier to stand the smell of liquor than to listen to it. Uh, what with an old Earl xenophobic rantings, as he uh, emptied the punch bowl of mulled wine and then moved on to the rum cake and then eventually falling into the Christmas tree which caused a ruckus. And uh, well, uh, <coughs> his, uh, his wife Aunt Shirley, well, uh, she's uh, a little serious, what you might call a firebrand, and there's little humor to be found in her zealotry, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's uh, kidding some folks is like uh, kicking a loaded polecat. But she did bring a nice jello dish, which we all seem to enjoy, except for her daughter Llewellyn, who's a militant vegan and uh, has shaved her head uh, as she searches for her gender designation, which seems to have been accelerated since her boyfriend Illich uh, disappeared last time because, well, he was involved in a Ponzi scheme with uh, falsified immigration papers and he was deported. But, uh, you know, I'm, uh, and then of course her brother, well, I'm surprised that there's enough trees in the forest to support all the pine shelving of the self-help books he's got lying in his living room. And he is what you call uh, one of these souls who's constantly looking for himself. And I said, and I shouldn't have said it, I said, well, have you checked under the bed? Well, that set off a huge ah! his missus are having marital problems, as you might guess. And of course, he suffers from all sorts of syndromes. But uh, their son, uh, well, let me just say this. You can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy, especially if Shut it, up! Uh, the country is Nazi Germany. As he's uh, joined one of these uh, militia hate groups, uh, anti whatever you call it, but uh, he did keep the Sig Hales down to a minimum and uh, seemed genuinely happy uh, with the gift we give him, although he had asked for uh, some commemorative swastika pins that you can buy on the dark web, but we resisted that and instead bought him a Messerschmitt uh, model airplane with plenty of extra tubes of glue, which he seemed to enjoy. And uh, he uh, did join in occasionally, though, between his uh, bashing of the liberal Twitterati uh, to opine about some of the uh, environmental issues that we had been discussing, i.e. the forest fires, which apparently had burned out their gathered spot in the woods, the Herman Gorin Memorial Campground of the Redwoods, and uh, well, they lost several sets of jackboots as they had been insured for theft but not fire, which was uh, not uh, a good foresight on their problems. How some ever, uh, there was, uh, he uh, suffers uh, greatly, of course, from self-hatred syndrome. As he's half Jewish himself from his birth mother of origin who gave him up for adoption and then she rejoined her Israeli commando unit in Jerusalem. Well, uh, 
Let me just say that uh, it's classic uh, self-hatred uh, with a dollop of Messiah complex, which is not shared by his sister, as she suffers from uh, an inferiority complex, uh, which uh, is fueled by intense sibling rivalry by her sister, who's gone on to get a PhD in horticulture and made millions uh, in the marijuana farming business. But she, uh, her sister, the other twin sister uh, of the boy, uh, Jared, uh, she suffers from the inferiority complex which is coupled with a misdiagnosis and overprescription of mind-altering psychotropic drugs. And she, of course, uh, ping-pongs between being in a decatatonic state and a highly manic state where she is constantly, of course, controlling her young husband. She married young and wrong and he doesn't seem to know which way to go he doesn't say, he doesn't say poo without an okay from her and he of course uh she, you know she hasn't killed his spirit oh, but she has cobbled it by cutting it his tendon and of course the twin sister's husband there well the aforementioned one uh well, you know, they say never approach a bull from the front, a horse from the rear, and a fool from any direction, but he trapped us by the credenza and went on and on about his intranet company that was going to be so successful he was going to make the Amazon Jeff Bezos fellow look like he was in the poorhouse. But, uh... <laughs> You know, the bigger the mouth, the better it looks shut. That's what we say. And of course, the poor fellow's driven by, uh, <clears throat> he's driven by a, a, a sense of failure from his overbearing father and a cold mother. And uh, I mean, it's just boilerplate Jungian archetype. But uh, you can cut your throat with a sharp tongue. So we kept quiet and we did not point out any of his irregularities. Uh, as you can't put your foot in your mouth if you keep it shut, which we did until the ride home with the missus, and then we let loose on all of the family uh, and what they were. But, you know, family is family, and uh, birth, just like plumbing and birth order. Uh, <laughs> hold on a sec there, let's see. So we did not point out any of his irregularities because uh, you can't put your foot in the mouth if it's shut. And we did not uh, open it until we got on the car ride home and then me and the wife discussed the various members of the family. And uh, <clears throat> well, the feathers flew, but family's family and uh, birth order and plumbing means shit rolls downhill and a low man on the totem pole wears the stinky moccasins. But uh, family, you know, they're the millstones we're blessed for us around our house. Well, the feathers flew on the ride home, but family's family, and you know, like birth order and plumbing, shit rolls downhill. <laughs> And the low man on the totem pole wears the stinky moxikins, but, uh, <coughs> sorry, let me do that one more time. Well, uh, we kept our mouths shut until we got on the ride home, and then me and the missus talked about it, and feathers flew. What, uh, family's family, and, uh, just like plumbing, birth order, shit rolls downhill, and low man on the totem pole gets to wear the stinky moccasins. But uh, family, they're the millstones we're blessed with around our neck. So uh, happy new year, partner, and hope you get out there safe and sane. Well, that was Professor Thaddeus Cornpone III. Thank you, Professor. I was able to return a crystal set I received for the holidays, which I have no use for, and then use the money to uh, buy some things that I, well, they're a bit of a personal nature, but I'll enjoy them in the privacy of my own home. Thanks for tuning in to Insight, the program that speaks with interesting people. I'm J. Roger Wanky.